Here we have the basic framework set up for my uh, modeling superplasticity. You'll note that I have my absolute access defined. All parts, components, assemblies have an absolute access. This is, could be an engine access, this could be the absolute of the vehicle, airplane, part, anything you're working on. Next I have a datum location. In this case, this datum location is off of the edge of my main base element. Now this feature is located somewhere off in space away from my absolute. This could be the D-pillar of a car. This could be something located at the very aft of the aircraft that you're working on. Maybe it's one of the ailerons or something along those lines. By locating a datum feature near the location you want to work will actually help simplify your entire modeling process. Next you'll see I have several base elements. These are elements that the features will be um, referencing to be built off of. And then my drivers. These drivers are what control the orientation, the direction of the part, and um, the location of the part. So in an effort to fully parameterize my model, or make it super plastic, the drivers are going to be stable elements. In this case, I'm going to offset a couple planes off of my datum location. So I'll double click on my plane function, offset from one plane, offset from another. Now the next elements I'm going to be generating are intersections. Those intersections are going to be based off of my base elements. They don't actually create driving elements, but they're used as reference to create my features. So I'll go to my base elements, define and work object, now I will create a couple of intersections. I'll intersect my base surface with my first plane. And then I'll intersect my first intersection with my second plane. And what you'll see here is a point that has been created on that first intersection. This point is going to be used as my reference, as my origin, for my axis system. Now. This axis system is going to be located again under base elements. So I'll go ahead and um, actually I have to go back into drivers. I need one more driver. That driver is going to be the orientation of the axis system. So I'll select on line. This is going to be angle, normal to curve. I'll select my first intersection. Second input is my point, which will be the origin point of my axis system I'll be creating in the next step. And then the third support is going to be the actual surface I'm going to be building the feature off of. Now I can orient this line to whatever position I want and select OK. Now here I have my frame for my super plastic modeling feature for my axis system. I'll go to base elements, right mouse click, define and work object. Now I'll select my axis system. I want to make sure my axis system goes into my base element. So I'm going to turn off under the axis system node. I want it to be my current. Now that I have these settings set, I'm going to specify my origin, which is my intersection point. This is very important. It's absolutely critical that you do this in this order. The next selection is going to be my z-axis. I like to use my z-axis as a reference for my die direction. So I'll select in the z-axis field, specify my die line. My next input will be my x-axis, or my horizontal for my axis system. Now I'll select the line that I generated at an angle. So as you can see, my x-axis is pointing along this line my z-axis is pointing along my die line. I select OK. Now what this gives me is an axis system that is fully controlled. If I double click on this plane and move its orient or location, you'll notice the axis system moves along with it. If I double click on this plane and I move this, you'll notice all of those inputs go along with it as well. If I double click on this line, I am now controlling the orientation of that axis. What this allows me to do is go into my part body, specify a position sketch, and by picking my position sketch in my XY plane off of that axis system, I'm creating a link 
to that axis system for the origin at the origin of the axis system and the orientation or the h direction or the x direction of that sketch to that axis system. This gives me a very predictable sketch as if I go in now and draw anything to that sketch, exit out, wherever I happen to move my inputs, you'll notice the sketch goes right along with it. This is the basic frame for my super plastic modeling.